Hi everyone, this week is Parsha's Korach, and the Parsha opens up that Korach Vayikach Korach. Korach took himself and separated himself. As Rashi tells us, he took himself and separated himself from the community to attack Moshe Rabbeinu. Rav Soloveitchik tells us that in all the complaints in the wilderness, it was often about a biological need. Hunger, thirst, this was the first political attack on Moshe Rabbeinu's authority, not only on Moshe Rabbeinu, but on Aro and the Leviim. But let's focus on Korach. And the Rav tells us that this was his pure intention, just to create disharmony among the Jewish people, dedicated himself to this diabolical plan of undermining Moshe. Now, it blows the mind to think that after experiencing the 10 plagues, the miracles of the 10 plagues, that just the miracle of leaving Egypt, being freed of the chains, the chains of servitude, receiving the Torah, the splitting of the sea. Really? This is your, your haughtiness, your desire for a need to have power? You're taking down the humblest man that has walked the face of the earth? The ingratitude. That's the seed of this behavior. Vayikach Korach. Korach separates himself from the community and he brings, what's terrible, he brings along other people along. 250 people and his whole family. And their end is, of course, not very pretty. I'd like to share a story in the opposite direction. This past Shabbat, my wife and I were walking home from a Shabbat lunch. And in the distance, we see a young man pushing a stroller. I don't recognize the young man, but he calls out, Hi, Rabbi Drelich, good Shabbos. And he stops. And I'm thinking, I don't know who this guy is, but he knows me. And he says, I want to express my gratitude to you and the members of the Riverdale Gamach. Now, the Riverdale Gamach provides interest-free loans for people who are in need of financial assistance, bridge loans, who are residents of Riverdale. And he said to me, he said, your money helped my wife and I pay for fertility procedures. And the baby that I'm pushing in this carriage, you and the members of your gemach played the essential role of bringing this neshama into this world. And I just wanted to thank you. I thought this was the appropriate venue in the privacy, just you and your wife. <laughs> and my wife and I just looked at each other with no words. Just the amount of importance of gratitude, of expressing thanks. And all I could say was, Hodul Hashem Kitov. Thank you, Hashem, for this kindness. How much we should look into our lives to be grateful for all those that have helped us out. And not to be like Korach, not just to attack people in position, but not to be ungrateful for all the good that we have experienced in our lives. Anyway, if you like what you hear, please pass it on. I wish everybody Shabbat Shalom. I'm looking forward to speaking to you next week.